Hi everyone, Wade here from Atri Real Estate. I'm standing in front of 16 Turnloop in Yatjabab. A very unique home, biggest house on this street. Very excited to bring you guys in. Have a look around and we'll go more into depth as we get inside. As we start at the front, we've got a massive frontage going all the way from the left there, right up to here on the right. You've got a triple garage at the front. You've got a nice basketball hoop. As we walk in, we've got a security screen door, mesh. Got a nice wood door finish with the privacy screens attached. Throughout the main living areas of the house, we've got these beautiful polished porcelain tiles that just shines. Um, cornices throughout the corners as well. You've got beautiful feature lights throughout the house as well, especially in the entryway. Nice little arch, and we'll walk through. Very big house. Be your like entertaining space, games room, uh, family room, just multiple, multiple uses. Obviously massive, we've got carpet throughout the whole area. We've got a little bar on the left here. It does have a built-in kitchen. So we've got power leading to the bottom here, which you've got a little nice bra fridge. We've got taps for water, just massive roof with like plenty of feature lighting. So it's nice, light and bright. Curtains all the way at the front, two sides, windows there. Plenty of space, but obviously, Foosball table, pool table, massive couches, exposed brick, which always is a nice look. Um, you've got your ducted heating as well. You've got fans in these main areas, which keeps it nice and cool. To the back of the space. On the right-hand side here, we do have the master bedroom. Quite a big entry, massive, massive bedroom. So we've got lots of built-in storage all the way across. Got your nice double window with views of the garden, which is nice because it covers everything off, blocks the sun, blocks the noise, blocks everything. Do have good quality security screens as well. We've got a fan and a split system in the master bedroom. What more could you ask for? Wonderful. Let's head through to the bathroom. So we head to the bathroom. Um, has been renovated quite recently as well. We've got tiles throughout, tiled right to the ceiling, which is always a very lovely, very nice way to keep clean. You've got your heat lamps with your lights, you've got exhaust fan, quite a big shower which goes right in. Um, you've got your two shower heads, which is always nice to have. You see it quite often these days. A bit of feature tiling in there as well. You've got a double vanity, his and hers. You've got plenty of storage on the sides and the bottom. And then a beautiful, quite a big spa bath. But yeah, that's the bathroom. Multiple entry points into there, so it's nice to see. As you walk into onto the left, we've got another basin, which you could block this door off here, use it as like a guest basin or for kids, anything like that, right into the corner. Again, plenty of storage and then a private toilet. Nice and fancy in there as well. Still tiled right to the ceiling, which you don't see too often. You've got your light and you've got your resource fan. Wonderful. So this door leads to the backyard. Um, we'll take you around from the back side and we'll show you all that. <clears throat> Again, so much storage in this house you got in exchange of a linen clubber, you've got full storage top and bottom. On the left here, we've got the first minor bedroom. So this is the minor bedroom, again, carpeted throughout. Um, it's got your storage right in the corners there. You've got ducted heating, a fan and a split system. So no, cold, hot, everything you need, you've got it all in one. Can't go wrong, beautiful views of the backyard as well. Let's head on through to the next bathroom, next bedroom. All right, so your third bedroom. So again, storage on the corners here. Still got your ducted heating, you've got your fan, and you've got your split system. So just plenty of air, plenty of space. Can't go wrong. Let's head on in. And this will lead to the fourth bedroom. So probably a bigger size to the other one, similar to your master bedroom. I think it's just a longer. Plenty of storage on the left here. Ducted heating, split system, and your fan. Views of the pool in the backyard. Plenty of space for a king, plus a toll boy, plus your bedside tables. Just so many opportunities. Wonderful. Let's head back to the main areas. All right, so as we walk through back to where we were before, we get back to the polished porcelain tiles, back to the family room. Nice and quiet as well, which you'd love to see. Let's head through to the garage. 
come on through. So like I said before, it's a triple garage. Um, looks can be deceiving. So it looks like it's a hand rolled one, but it is actually electric. As you can see on the left hand side there as well, we do have solar panels. There's 16 on the roof, which is quite nice to have. You've got your lights, plenty of space. So you've got full drive through access all the way into there. So you can fit multiple cars, you can fit trailers, utes, caravans, anything you need just right through. Head through to this side, you've got a door blocking off the third garage. This was going to be converted to a bedroom, but they've kept it as a garage. So you do have the opportunity to do that. Power's connected up, you've still fully electric, you've got your lights, you've got everything. And then access straight to the backyard from that side. Come on through. All right, back to the main way. So on my left here, we've got another room, nothing in there at the moment. This would be like a formal dining area. Obviously it's very nice, you've got your down lights going, you've got your ducted evaporative and your ducted heating. Still got the porcelain tiles and plenty of space for an eight, 10 seater, whatever you need. Let's head on through. So over here on the left, we've got another section for your meals. Again, plenty of space there. You can do a formal dining in that room over there, then your standard meals here. You can make it into a games area, kind of multiple options. Still got your ducted heating and your ducted evaporative throughout. Let's head through to the kitchen. All right, so this is the kitchen. Still got the porcelain tiles throughout. Plenty of space in here. So you've got these nice undercovered storage with that wood look. You've got your double sinks, plenty of space for the fridge. You've got your Westinghouse oven, stove, and overhead. Lots of storage at the above there and full countertop bench space. Wonderful. So this door to my left here will take you through to that formal dining area. So it's always nice to have multiple entryways towards that. On the left, we've got a very large walk-in pantry. It goes right through, you've got your feature light, plenty of cupboard space, plenty of storage. On the left here, we walk straight through to your laundry. It can be used as multiple uses, so you can use either as a laundry, which they've got it set up as, you make it into like a butler's pantry. You've still got plenty of storage at the top here. Doors on either side to keep out the noise, which is lovely. And you do have a second shower in here as well, which is for if you're coming from the pool, don't want to make a mess through the house, you walk straight into there, bang, can't go wrong. Again, nice bench tops, under storage, good little view at the backyard there on the corner. And then a separate toilet, still tiled to the ceiling, which again, you don't see too often. It's nice to have, nice to know that they've spent a bit of money to make it stand out, make it appeal a bit better. Come on through. On the left here, we've got a study. So again, this can be converted to a fifth bedroom very easily. It is still quite spacious. Nice corner desk there. You've got storage on the corner here. Plenty of space with your nice, nice wood Venetian blinds and your downlights. Wonderful. Let's head on through. One more little section here. So we've got a still your ducted heating. We've still got your ducted evaporative, your porcelain tiles, views of the backyard. Again, this can be a family room, games room. Too many options. You've got plenty of living areas, plenty of space for everything. Let's head to the backyard and see what's out there. All right, so as we head to the backyard, let's walk in. So we've paved throughout the whole backyard, which is nice, low maintenance. There is a bit of grass area on the corner for pets, anything like that, but I'll show you that in a minute. We've got a full patio with two fans, lights throughout as well, which is always lovely to see. You do have a gas point hooked up behind there for your barbecues. Um, pool on the corner here. So this is a saltwater pool, very large, very nice, definitely for a day like this as well. Christmas time, everything that's coming up, it's all lovely to see. We'll head through to the left. So you got your pool pump and everything. You don't see people put that much effort into covering up their pumps, which is nice to see. Protects it, keeps it safe, especially from the heat. Bit of grass area here as well. Again, for pets, everything like that, it's always lovely to have. As we head right around, we've got a full area on the corner here. So we'll poke our head there. We've got another patio on the corner, still paved, shed on the left and blocked off with a little bit of grass. So yeah, wonderful. Let's head back to the pool and get a nice little spot and we'll talk a bit more. All right. So this beautiful house, these houses like these don't come up too often, especially in Yanjibab, especially on this land size. This is something that interests you or someone that you know might like something like this. Feel free to reach out. I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you.